What a beautiful day to learn about fruits and vegetables. Let's see, let's see, what do we have here? Mmm, fruits and veggies. Delicious! Do you know all their names? Tomato, banana, eggplant, carrot, potato, peach, broccoli, lettuce, apple, and asparagus. Good! All right, kids, you already know how a tomato, a peach, or a banana look. But do you know what they are? Fruits or vegetables? <laughs> do you want me to explain to you the difference? Great, Pops. Could you help me? Both fruits and veggies come from plants, depending on which part of the plant it is. It will be a fruit or a veggie. Let's start with fruits. Ah, fruits were once beautiful flowers. Flowers not only smell great, but also help plants reproduce. That's why fruits have seeds. This is why tomatoes, bananas, eggplants, peaches, and apples are fruits. They were flowers before. And vegetables then? Veggies are any other edible part of the plant seeds tubers, roots, and bulbs also planted underground, and then stems and leaves, and open flowers. Underground, we find veggies as carrots and potatoes. We also eat stems as asparagus, leaves as lettuce, and open flowers as broccoli. It will take you some time to learn to distinguish them. Even some adults are wrong sometimes. <laughs> Do you want to play with a digital board to practice? You have to place fruits at the left and vegetables at the right. Ready? Oh, where's the pointer? Well, kids, don't worry. Groovy can help us. Whoa! Thanks, Groovy! Tomato, fruit or veggie? Remember, it has seeds. That's it! Tomatoes are fruits, even if it's not sweet. Banana? Yes, banana are fruit. And eggplant? No, kids. They were flowers before. Haha, <laughs> that's it. Eggplants are fruits. And carrots? Yes, carrots are edible roots. What about the potato? Exactly. Potatoes are veggies. They're tubers. And peach? Easy, isn't it? Great! Peaches are fruits with a really big seed. Hmm, broccoli. A vegetable, right? Although it seems difficult to believe, broccolis are flowers. And lettuce? This one is also easy. They're leaves of the plant. They're vegetables. And apples? A fruit, of course. They've got big seeds, too. And the last one? Asparagus. Very good. Groovy, it's a veggie. They're stems. You've done great. I know it can be challenging sometimes, but whether it's a fruit or a vegetable, just be sure you eat plenty of both. Strawberry to do to do to do strawberry to do to do to do.
Good morning, kids. I brought you here to learn the colors all together. Phoebe, let's go over what you have learned at school. Groovy, pay attention. We have six paint buckets of different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> exactly, Groovy. You are green and yellow, too. Blue and pink. We also have six drawings of animals. Fox, frog, chicken, ladybug, flamingo, and shark, like baby shark. Animals are so cool. Do you know the color of each animal? Groovy, transform into a brush and help Phoebe paint the drawings with the right color. Which of these animals are red? <laughs> exactly. The ladybug is red. Groovy, now orange. Hmm, what will it be? Yes, very good, Phoebe. The fox is orange. Yellow. Groovy, you try now. Which animal is yellow? No, no, Groovy. Flamingos aren't yellow. Kids, help him. <laughs> That's it. Chicks are yellow. It's Green's turn. <laughs> yes, Groovy, you are green. What other animal is also green? Yes, the frog. Blue. Like a baby shark, yes. There's only one color left. Which color is the flamingo? Exactly, pink. Very good, Groovy. Hmm. I think you know all the colors perfectly. Do you want to try with the fruits? Groovy, you now all by yourself. <laughs> with a little help, it's okay too. We have tangerine, strawberry, banana, blueberries, pataya, and kiwi. What color is the tangerine? Exactly. Tangerines are orange. And the strawberries? Haha, <laughs> very good. They're red. And the banana? Yellow, that's right. And little blueberries? Haha, <laughs> blue. What a team! There's only one left, the pataya. Very good, kids. Pink. Great, kids. Last time. Red, like a ladybug or a strawberry. Orange, like the beautiful fox or the delicious tangerine. Yellow, like chicks or bananas. Green, like a frog or the inside of a kiwi. Sure, and broccoli. Blue, like the baby shark or the blueberries, and pink like the flamingo or the pataya, <laughs> and like pops. Yay! Learning is so fun. 
What a beautiful day to enjoy breakfast. All right, kids, you ate it all. Now it's time to brush your teeth. Phoebe, you can play with the ball later. Now you have to brush your teeth. It's very important to keep them clean. Right, Pops? <laughs> to have clean and healthy teeth, you have to brush your teeth after every meal. In other words, you have to brush your teeth after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Children, what have you just done? Indeed, you had breakfast. So what's next? No, Groovy, no yoga. After breakfast, we have to brush our teeth. Come on, what are you waiting for? All right, kids, let's brush our teeth. What do we need first? That's right, Phoebe, a toothbrush. And the second thing we need? <laughs> Groovy, what a crazy idea. Soap is for hands. Teeth are washed with toothpaste. That's better. Slow down, slow down, Groovy. You don't need so much. Wait a minute. Are you sure you know how to brush your teeth? What if Pops helps us to see how it's done? Please, little gentleman, smile. You should brush your teeth and gums in circles gently, just like Pops does. You don't only have to brush the teeth that are in sight, but also those that are more hidden, ahead and behind, all of them. You must take your time. Two minutes is recommended, understood? After you have brushed them all, rinse your mouth. Let's see, Groovy. you have the cleanest teeth in the whole galaxy. Phoebe, it's your turn. Practice what we've learned today. Phoebe, not so fast. Those teeth are still dirty. You haven't washed them enough. They're full of bacteria. You think they're clean because we can't see the bacteria with the naked eye. But I assure you, your teeth are full of the little monsters. Groovy, will you help me show them? Children, what should Groovy transform into to see Phoebe's teeth closer? A pearl necklace? A magnifying glass? We're in a shower. Exactly. Into a magnifying glass. Wonderful. There they are. Ready to eat your teeth, Phoebe. <laughs> Goodbye, little monsters. Bye! All right. Good job, kids. You're done with them. Now your teeth are fresh, healthy, and clean.
What a beautiful day to pick flowers. Wow, you guys look super elegant. Of course, you're dressed up because there's a party at home today. Your grandparents are coming. How nice. Are those flowers for them? How cute. I'm sure they'll love them. The flowers look great on you too, Phoebe. Why don't you cut another one for Groovy? Children, we're not playing tag. Groovy, let Phoebe put the flower on you. What have you done? You look so dirty. Children, do you think Phoebe and Groovy can go to the party like this? Of course not. What do you think they have to do? Exactly. Take a bath. Pops, will you please show us how the kids have to do it? It's easy to wash yourself if you know how to do it. First, lather your body with gel. Second, rub your hair with shampoo. Third, rinse with water. Fourth, dry off well with a towel. And fifth and last, get dressed in clean clothes. Perfect! Children, did you understand? Hey, hey, no playing games. We're in a hurry. The party's about to start. What's the first thing you have to do to be clean? Very well. Lather your body with a sponge and the gel. And now, children, what's next? Exactly. Put on the shampoo. Groovy, you don't have much hair, <laughs> but rub your antennas well. Children, where are Groovy and Phoebe? I see only foam. There they are. Time to rinse off. We're opening the tap. There's only one little thing left. All right, towel dry. Ready? Now get dressed. Wait a minute. The fancy clothes you were wearing are too dirty. What a problem. The party is about to start. What do we do? Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to clean the clothes? Into a clock? A kite? Or in a washing machine? Exactly! A washing machine! That's a good centrifuge. Be careful, children. You'll get dizzy. Thank you, Groovy. Clothes are very clean now. <laughs> wow, how fast you've grown. Now you're ready to see your grandparents. They are here. Kids, are you ready to take a bath? Yeah! Shampoo, shampoo, you have to use shampoo. Yes, 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 I have to use shampoo. Good, good, shampoo. Some 
Beautiful day to play in the sandbox. <laughs> Groovy, that crab is so cute. Hmm, what smells so good? I'm sure it's something delicious. Watch out! Uh, broccoli! That's what smelled so good! No, Groovy, you have to wait until everyone is at the table. Why don't you go find Phoebe? Phoebe, lunch is ready! Hurry up, because Groovy is starving! Groovy, you have to help Phoebe get free. <laughs> I think that won't be enough. Hmm, I don't know if any of these transformations will work. Wait, yes, a shovel is just what we need. We can tell how hungry Groovy is by how he runs. What's wrong, Phoebe? Don't you like broccoli? Broccoli tastes great, right, Groovy? That's Phoebe's lunch. Phoebe, broccoli is really healthy. Don't you want to try it? I'm sure you're going to like it. Mm, Pops, help me explain to her how important it is to eat vegetables and fruits. Eating fruits and vegetables like broccoli is really important for our health. Fruits and veggies are our main source of nutrients to be strong and grow without stopping. We should eat five pieces of fruits and veggies a day. Groovy eats more than five. For sure. <laughs> and you kids, do you eat fruits and veggies daily? Phoebe, why won't you even try a little bit of this broccoli? Come on. If you only give it a chance, I'm sure you're going to love it. Right, kids? Oh, Phoebe can't keep cycling because she's starving. Of course you haven't eaten your veggies. Now you have no strength. Wow, 
Wow, Groovy! That broccoli made you super strong! <laughs> Don't worry, Phoebe. We can fix it later. But now, how are we going to get back home? I know! Groovy can help us! Groovy, can you help us? What should Groovy transform into to bring Phoebe and her broken tricycle home? Into a bouquet of flowers? A mop? Or tow truck? That's it! Groovy should transform into a tow truck to get back home. All right, kids. Wow, with this super tow truck, we'll be home in a minute. Look, Groovy, today's your lucky day. There's veggies for dinner, too. I'm sorry, Phoebe. Come on, Phoebe, try it. Surely they're delicious. Daddy cooks really well. See, I'm not lying. Veggies are delicious. I can't believe it. <laughs> she liked them so much that she's also eaten Groovy's dinner. <laughs> Don't worry. Groovy, there's more for you. You can repeat veggies as many times as you want. How well have you eaten dinner? With all these veggies, you'll have energy to play nonstop.
Broccoli, broccoli, it's time to eat your broccoli. Yes, 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 I want to eat the broccoli. Good, good, the broccoli's good for you. What a beautiful day for gardening. Groovy, could you bring these little broccoli plants to Phoebe? No, Groovy. If you eat them all, there won't be any big broccoli. <laughs> That's better. Phoebe, Groovy, the kids and I want to see your garden. Would you show us? These kids are tomato plants. These delicious tomatoes can be eaten, num num, in a salad. Do you like salads? Believe it or not, these are carrots. Yes, carrots. Phoebe, will you show them to the kids? And what's that? Does anyone know what those veggies are called? Exactly. Pumpkins. We play a lot with them at Halloween. <laughs> Quiet, Groovy. Pumpkins are harmless like the rest of the vegetables and also great for our health. Oh, I'm melting. It's too hot. You should protect yourself from the sun before your heads get sunburned. Oh no! Veggies are also hot. Thanks for your straw hat, nice gesture. But what they really, really need is to get water. The hose is there, come on. Kids, kids. Children, children, children. Keep playing, you are going to break the hose. And it's broken. Thanks, Pops. Children, water is a very scarce resource. You can't waste it like that. Pops, can you help me explain why? All the living beings who live on Earth, plants, animals, humans, and some Martians, need water to survive. As more time passes, there is less water on our planet because we consume more than what is produced. This is why it's super important that we take care of the water we have. This is to say we should use it only for essential things like drinking, washing, or watering our gardens without wasting it. Do you understand? You were playing with the water and have forgotten about watering the plants. 
and the hose is broken now. How can we water this garden in a sustainable way? <laughs> I don't think that will be enough, Phoebe, but I know, I'm sure Groovy can help us. Children, what should Groovy transform into to save the veggies? A watering can? Toothpaste? Or a brush? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a watering can to save the veggies. <laughs> really good, Phoebe. Closing the tap on time to save water. Look, plants look beautiful now that they've been watered. If they could talk, they would thank you for sure. A day of hard work in the garden leaves you thirsty. But don't forget what you've learned. We have to share water with everyone and never waste it. What a beautiful day to play at the beach. No, Groovy, you can't just leave the waste there. Even if it's not yours, you should throw it into the container. Awful. The beach is full of garbage. We can't allow it, children. We should do something. Right, Pops? Our planet is in danger because humans won't stop polluting. Garbage can't be thrown anywhere. It must be thrown into the container. Also, we must recycle, throwing each bottle into their container green bottles inside the green container, blue bottles inside the blue container, and red ones inside the red container. Come on, children, let's recycle all together. In which container should these bottles be thrown? Really good, Phoebe. Well done. The blue bottle goes inside the blue container. No, Groovy. The red bottle doesn't go inside the blue container. In which one, children? Exactly. Inside the red one. I have an idea to clean the beach. Why don't we have a competition between Phoebe and Groovy to see who is faster picking up bottles? Do you accept the challenge? The game is very easy. There are five bottles in each field. Phoebe and Groovy have to collect and recycle them correctly. Understood? Ready, set, go. The two players get the bottle. Phoebe dunks her own correctly, but Groovy fails. Oh no, you have to pick it up again. Phoebe takes the lead ahead of Groovy, who has now correctly slammed his bottle. Phoebe goes for her third bottle, while Groovy goes for the second. It seems that the game is decided. Phoebe is going to win unless Groovy does something. Unbelievable! Groovy transforms into an octopus and advances positions. The game is not decided yet. The game is very even. Both players are going to dunk their last bottles, and the result is... Draw! Actually, we have all won because the beach has been cleaned. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks, kids. Oh, a giant wave. What's up? The wave has left the beach full of bottles again. Children, we have a problem, a really big one. The sea is full of bottles, too. What can we do to collect them? Can you think of something? I know. Groovy can help us. What should Groovy transform into to collect the bottles? Pencil? A boat? Or a ball? That's it. Groovy should transform into a boat to collect the bottles. Come on, kids. Let's fish these bottles. Wow, the beach looks beautiful. Now that it's clean, we can continue enjoying this wonderful day. What a great idea. Celebrate it with fresh fruit juice. But kids, what do we have to do when it's finished? Exactly, recycle them. Very well, you have learned the lesson. The trash always to its container. Let's recycle. 
What a beautiful day to go to the beach. <laughs> I love how you use the beach ramps, Groovy. I'm glad you're wearing white clothes. It's important not to get dressed in warm clothes in summer. It's the hottest season and the sun heats up a lot. Hmm, the cooler is too close to the sea. What do you think, kids? Is it a good place to leave it? Are you going to play paddle ball? What a great idea. Ruby, do you know how to play? Sure. Groovy, you have to hit it with the paddle. Exactly, with that one. It's your turn to start. Really good, Groovy. We found your sport. Wow, Phoebe, you're getting sunburnt. Haven't you used any sunscreen? Phoebe, you have to use sunscreen, always. It's essential not to get burnt. And you too, Groovy, even if you don't get sunburnt easily. Pops, help me explain to them what else they have to do to protect themselves from the sun. In summer, the sun heats up a lot. Every time you go to the beach, the swimming pool, or the park, you have to follow this not to get sunburned. One, use sunscreen several times during the day. Two, use caps or hats. Three, protect your eyes with sunglasses. And four, stay in the shade during the hottest hours. For example, under the umbrella. Have you understood? Very good. Put on sunscreen all over your body. Perfect. Now we need something to cover your head. Great. And what else? Bright, cool sunglasses. You're ready to keep playing. Groovy, what's wrong? Oh no, the wave stole the cooler with our snacks inside. Oh, uh, the, the sea is dragging it further and further away. I knew Groovy. Our fridge has our favorite snack, fresh summer fruit. Watermelon, nectarine, melon. We have to get it back. Hmm, what can we do? I know, Groovy can help us. Kids, what should Groovy transform into to get the fridge back? A camera? A paddle boat? Or a ball? Really good. Into a paddle boat. Come on, Phoebe. You can do it. You're doing it great. Less is left. Keep moving. Very good. Watch out! A wave! Yay! It's already yours! Now to the beach! Good! You've done it, kids! Now, snack time! Under the umbrella, you can enjoy your snack without getting sunburned. The fresh fruit is the best to recharge your batteries. Isn't it good? What a beautiful day to dive and see coral and colorful fish. Look how beautiful the bottom of the sea is. What 
a nice clownfish. Hi, little friend. Groovy, little by little, if you practice, you'll end up swimming like a real fish. Oh, what is this disaster? It's horrible. The bottom of the sea looks like a dump. Animals can't live like this. What was that, kids? To find out, we better follow it. I can't believe it! It's a mermaid! Let's follow her, kids! She's gone in there! Where is she gone? There she is! Poor thing! She's crying! Children, let's try to cheer her up. The mermaid is sad because her house, the bottom of the sea, is in serious danger because of the plastic. Plastic is lethal for poor marine animals. Isn't that right, Pops? Plastic containers that are not recycled end up in the sea and are a deadly trap for the poor fish who get caught in them or get poisoned by eating them. This disaster must be stopped. Children, shall we help the mermaid to clean up the bottom of the sea? Yes, that's how I like it. We help those who are in need. Don't worry, little mermaid. We'll help you. But children, how can we do it? There's a lot of plastic in the sea. We need something big, groovy. Can you think of anything? Children, what should Groovy transform into to collect as much plastic as possible? A pearl necklace? A submarine? Or a daisy? Yes, into a submarine. Fantastic! With this super submarine, we'll clean the bottom in no time. There's nothing like teamwork to go even faster. Bye-bye to that awful plastic. The fish are happy. And the sea is back to its original appearance. All right, kids. Great job. You've done a great job together. Congratulations. You have helped the mermaid and all the fish. The sea is now a better place, free of plastics. Goodbye, mermaid. We promise to recycle all the plastic at home so that it doesn't end up in our oceans. Right, children? <laughs> Remember, children, say no to throwing plastic away. Say yes to recycling it. Oh, are you having a picnic in the garden? So cool. What snacks are you bringing? Mmm, fruit. Oh, is that a peach? Mmm, yummy. Sounds delicious. Groovy, be careful with the seed. Inside some fruits, there are seeds, and some of them are too big to eat. <laughs> you don't know what a seed is, right? Let me explain. From the seeds, we get the fruit we eat. How does it happen? First, we make a little hole in the soil. 
Second, we put the seed in. Third, we cover it. And fourth, we have to water it to make it grow. From the seed, a little plant grows. And this little plant will become a big tree, like this one, the peach seed. Good idea, Phoebe. We could plant the seed. That's right, Groovy. We only need the seed. <laughs> so first, we have to make a little hole. Here. No, Groovy, that's too big. <laughs> well, we definitely have the hole. Second, we put the seed in. Third, we cover it with the soil. And fourth... Exactly, we have to water it. Plants need water to grow. Groovy, can you help us? <laughs> Children, what should Groovy transform into to water the seed? Into a rake? A basket? Or a watering can? Perfect! A watering can! Now we can water the seed. What happened, kids? Are you waiting for it to grow? Haha, <laughs> be patient. Plants need time to grow big and strong. We'll have to wait. Wait, look over there. Hey, you see? It begins very small, but just wait to see how big it can get. Come each season to see how it's changed. Summer. In summer, the sun shines bright and it's always hot. Look how big it is now. The sun helps plants grow. It's its food. Autumn. In autumn, it's cloudy and it rains very often. Most leaves turn brown and fall all over the ground. But don't worry, kids. The tree's just resting. When sun comes back, green leaves will grow again. In winter, it's always cold and it snows a lot. Because of the bad weather, there aren't leaves yet. Oh, that's right, kids. The tree might be cold without its leaves. <laughs> Much better now. <laughs> In spring, the days are warmer and sunny. There are lots of flowers in the garden. Look at our tree. It's beautiful. Wow, look what happened. Flowers turned into peaches. Whee, let's have some fruit. Tell me, kids, aren't they tasty? It was really fun to see them grow. Let's plant something else. Groovy, what are you doing? What? A unicorn? Do you want to plant a unicorn? <laughs> Unicorns don't grow on trees. <laughs> Kids, let's go over the seasons again. Summer, autumn, winter, and spring. In summer, there is always hot weather, and it's the perfect time to go to the beach. In autumn, it's colder and it rains a lot. The leaves turn brown and fall all over the ground. In winter, it's very cold and there's no sunshine. That's why plants are sleeping. But it snows a lot, which is amazing. In spring, the sun shines bright again and everything is covered by flowers. It's a nice time to enjoy the outdoors.
What a beautiful day to play with all these toys. Groovy, watch out! <laughs> what a crash! Oh, what's wrong with Phoebe? Could you tell me? How does Phoebe feel? Joyful? Fearful? Angry? Or sad? That's it. Phoebe is sad. Nice try. Oh, Phoebe must be very sad not to laugh with you. Groovy, it's okay if Phoebe's sad. Emotions aren't bad. They help us to know what we are feeling. We need to find out why Phoebe's sad. What's the matter, Phoebe? Why are you sad? Oh no, Snuggles is gone. Now we understand why Phoebe feels so sad. Snuggles is her pet, and she loves him very much. Wait a minute, but Snuggles always leaves for a while. But you're worried because he hasn't come back yet. How long has he been gone? Don't worry, Phoebe. We're going to help you find him. Phoebe, have you looked around already? And the rest of the garden? Yes, the garden is very big and Snuggles is very small. We need help to find him quickly. Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to find Snuggles? A toy truck? A helicopter? Or a slipper? Exactly! Into a helicopter! Great! are. He's stuck in the fence. Oh, so much love. How beautiful. I love stories with a happy ending. Phoebe has gone from being sad to joyful thanks to our friendship. Yay! Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> <laughs> Snuggles is having a great time.
It's groovy too. doing are you trying to say something oh yes subscribe kids groovy the martian official channel <laughs> 